That's it. I'll repeat what we learnt about impotence. Impotence, also referred to as erectile dysfunction. If you treat the organ penis as a cylinder, you will be having cavernous sinuses. This is side view. If you go for a cross section and look at it, this will be the spaces where these are venous channels. Blood, if they are present in this channel completely, then the girth of the whole penile area will increase. Now blood has to flow inside. Blood flow, if blood content is high, if blood is more inside the area, erection happens. If blood is seeping backwards, there is no blood, then there is erectile dysfunction. So relaxation of penis can happen when the blood is not there. So I repeat in simple words, blood content more in cavernous sinuses can cause tumescence, that is strength or rough or hardening of the organ. Here, how do you have increased blood in it when the veins are narrow or when the veins are broader? When the veins are constricted, amount of blood will be lesser. When the veins are dilated, amount of blood present inside can be higher. So what did I tell you who can increase the blood vessel? Diameter, I told you, nitric oxide as a neurotransmitter or as a chemical modulator, this nitric oxide can relax smooth muscles. They relax smooth muscles present in the blood vessel wall. So if the relaxation happens, the blood vessel diameter increases. If the same muscles are contracting, blood vessel diameter narrows. Likewise, the venous cavernous sinuses present inside the area, they are engorged. They are increasing in size with more amount of blood because of nitric oxide. So for a normal person, normal amount of nitric oxide is enough to keep the whole organ tumescent. But if the people are suffering from erectile dysfunction, then you are giving a drug called as Sildenafil. What is the importance of this drug? This drug is capable of maintaining the tumescence for a longer period. How does this happen? It tries to maintain nitric oxide content higher. Also, it tries to maintain the psychic GMP concentration higher. So, in simple words, remember, as I told you in the YouTube video, nitric oxide can increase cyclic GMP. Cyclic GMP can cause smooth muscle relaxation. If smooth muscle relaxation happens, then the veins are dilated. But when the normal amount of nitric oxide is keeping the veins dilated, it is only for a few minutes. It is depending on the half-life of nitric oxide and depending on the duration of cyclic GMP presence. If cyclic GMP is working only for two minutes, then the veins are dilated for two minutes. What happens to cyclic GMP after this cyclic GMP will be broken down by an enzyme called as phosphodiesterase. So normal nitric oxide which increases cyclic GMP will keep the veins dilated and open for a particular amount of time. But now what do you want to do? You want the cyclic GMP to be higher for a longer time. If it is to be higher for a longer time, then the enzyme who breaks it should not be present. So this drug, sildenafil, will inhibit the enzyme so the cyclic GMP breakdown is blocked. So that cyclic GMP will be there for a longer period. If it is there for a longer period, veins are dilated for a longer period. So more the time for the tumescence of the organ, sexual organ. Thank you.